good, everyone. We're hoping everyone, wishing everyone a happily ever after in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That will be the download when we're up in heaven with the Lord. So we got a lot to look forward to. And you know, when I speak, it's faithful are the wounds of a friend, Proverbs 27, 6, because I care for many people. If you need counsel, if you need advice, theological discussion, iron sharpens iron, just let me know. We're here for the body of Christ. We pay no attention to leadership titles or their flaws. We're paying attention to the fruit at the grassroots, and that would that's bring me to attention. You know, you can have a lot of leadership training. You can have people on YouTube yelling out, and local people yelling at false prophets, accusing false prophets, making money off their TMZ video tabloid styles, or at the local level, you know, making a name for themselves. They are the true prophet. You know, nobody, like for your information, <laughs> Jesus Christ is the only true prophet of the Christian church. Everybody else is just stumbling along by grace, trying to do their best, asking God for mercy to have good doctrine, the best quality you can. So when we're evaluating, we don't need to name you. We don't need to embarrass or, you know, call your attention. That would be less than humble. Rarely, if I mention a movement, three, the top three, the top two movements to do word curses, I'm, I really honor the top people and always respect the top Christian because they, never, they probably don't even know what goes on under their famous name or their well-known local name at the grassroots level and I was sent to study and surf the body from age 24 on up that was 1976 till now close that chapter because it was ex it was just really getting demonic it was getting worse the word curses and I'm very sensitive by now mature and I can as a prophet apostle you don't want to you don't want them to defile you with their magna Sears gone wild, false, t you know, dysfunction. It's really more like the Second Timothy three one through five, Second First Timothy seven five, the balance, the last days, perilous times, balance to all of us from such turn away. Yeah, got Paul said Hebrews ten twenty five. Don't forsake fellowshipping with the saints. But now we got the last days. We got to have pre -qual They got to be qualified to fellowship and immerse in there for long <laughs> and I mean it that's what was the uh, disturbing and dysfunctional factor I'd never been around false teaching like that and let me tell you this is the bottom line we'll still talk more we got tons to say to submit to leaders lay in a church out of church wherever because you got to hear for yourself and we submit it as Sila dogma only if any shoe fits but you got to hear for yourself so in the bottom line, what I really believed, and I still do, when you hear the word false teacher, false trainer, false apostle, all that going way back, I always, as a Baptist pastor's firstborn daughter and many, you know, educated Billy Graham style, so to speak, you know, loosely, Jesus people type, I always thought that meant that you're in danger of a person tricking you out of your salvation, if they don't even believe in Jesus, they don't... Um, they don't have any true teachings. They're not in agreement with the Pauline Ephesians four common doctrine, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God the Father of us all. So that's basically it. Then, then you and you can look up that for yourself. And then you look around for the fruit. Are they are they racist? Are they open to diverse? Or how do they treat people? How do they respect people? And that is what led finally after I got into the out from the seventies to the eighties, it was it was peaceful, nothing like I have to talk about today. The LP it was not my radar. It had started by the end of the 80s getting more showbiz and money issues, you know, Jim Baker, Jim Baker's scandals. And we're not saying, you know, nobody knew the path we'd been on. And that's what I want to say to people who were there yesterday who weren't there. You don't know the difference that the world, the flesh, and the devil, and human mistakes, and just not knowing what to do. As I mentioned about a Western, cowboy Western, I happened to see at my grandmother at my mother's house before she died decades ago. The old black and white TV, they used to call them Indians, cowboys and Indians. This is cowboys and Native Americans. And so one cowboy said to the other, I'm going to use their terminology, you know, 
the Indians, this is back in a 30s movie, you know, the Indians don't like their picture taken. And the other cowpoke said, why? And the first one said, because they're afraid it will steal their soul. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. You can ask somebody. But the idea it kept, it stuck in my spirit for this long journey of America decline, being desperate, being taken over, you know, the church going crazy and losing people confusing people and then the rise of accusation uh, character assassination in ministry and then on land I'm thinking it looks like the media the mind of America the soul of America and ministry especially included their mind will and emotions that's the soul have been stolen let's get it back so you got to have renewing of our mind you got to be positive you got to be you know believe God in his without the law but you can't do it for PC or trying to please people or trying to make the rearrange the whole Bible to make society like it you don't do that you make your method different see that's it it's the methods that need to be really changed radically instead of this shouting and screaming and I mean among the Christians so I'm submitting Selah's and I want to look at especially today those who target people so there's false teaching not knowing your common doctrine, not knowing about community, there's false teachings because you don't, you know, you can get the wrong emphasis about Demas, Eli to use people, too much materialism and all this other stuff, but also leave out the cross and Jesus, that he is the way, the truth, and the life, that no one goes to the Father except by him. On the other hand, what I didn't know, and what I found out the very hard way with this functional ministry, 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 5, is that the celebrity fruit, not all, and then the parenting, you know, dysfunction in America, family, and then has led to false authority. Now, see, there's a false authority versus false teaching. That is the subtle part. The false authority will accuse you behind your back, read your mind, jump you in public. I found that out, <laughs> and we'll talk another time. My daddy didn't do that. He wouldn't like <laughs> Most Christian men aren't. Most Christians aren't. But this is a giant, mushrooming, giant crowd of celebrity and celebrity followers. Not all. And the ones that happen to do it to me, the most solid Caucasian, charismatic. All right. Matthew 7, 4 is the topic from Jesus Christ. I'm not calling your name. I'm calling out your doctrine and your fruit. You want fruit that wants, that is safe for people to Hebrews 10.25. That's all the reason I'm doing it. Nothing particular except for understanding now how bad, how tough it is to be able to go where the Holy Spirit is there. It's the book of Acts crowd. Matthew 7.5 is Jesus. Matthew 7.21.23 is Jesus Christ in red letters warning. It looks like particularly the book of Acts crowd. Because he says, many of you, that means many of you, many of you will say, Lord, Lord, didn't I, when it's too late, didn't we, what, didn't we what, Lord, when it's too late, many of us will say, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name, didn't we do signs and wonders and hands on people and all this stuff and leadership in your name, Lord, and he will say to them, out from me and depart, you who work lawlessness. If you look up various translation of the word lawless, Matthew 7, 21 through 23, it means iniquity. If you look up those words in Bibles, concordance, strong concordance, it translates into false authority. False authority is using people, abusing people, falsely accusing people, manipulating, using celebrity, using uh, pressure, hierarchy, uh, behind the scenes undermining, doing all sorts of things, holding in pressure for offerings many things mesmerizing a lot of things charismatic and non-charismatic could do you know we're all working on ourselves we should but let us submit this to you this is the word of the lord about watch out god is watching false authority matthew 7 21 23 the days are short this is jesus christ red letter words to the ministers god bless